Today we're going to look at the best wiring options available for your 2012 GMC Acadia. First off, we're going to have two different styles. We're going to have two from Takancha and two from Kurt. One style is going to be for vehicles that do not have an OEM wiring tow package on them, and the other set is going to be one for vehicles that do have an OEM tow package. Let's go ahead and look at these two guys first. This is probably the most common out there. First off, our Takancha. This is going to be part number 118451. And your other one from Kurt, which is going to be part number C56056. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to our two other wire harnesses that will plug into OEM wire harness. Our two part numbers are going to be one from Kurt, which is going to be part number C55515. And this one from Takancha, part number 118384. So Arcadia we have here doesn't have the factory wire harness on it, so we use one that plugs them on a taillight. We've got plenty of wire harness right here. In fact, I have more tied up behind the bumper. So it's very easy to run behind the taillights on down and right to here on both sides. Chances are with your vehicle, you're probably going to use one that plugs in behind the taillights as opposed to the OEM setup. These two are going to be very similar uh, wiring harnesses. Let's go ahead and just cover it, what they both do. First off, we got our T connector here, which plugs into the factory wire harness behind the taillights. Now these will both plug into any four pole flat that's out there. Our differences are going to be that when you're not using it, we got a built in cap, which I kind of like because I would lose a separate cap. And our, Kurt, our cap is separate, but it does mount pretty easily to the wire harness right here. It slips over the four pole end, and that goes over the top. Big bonus about this part, it's replaceable, not so much on Takancha. Installation wise, Takancha gives you a couple of small zip ties and a screw for your ground on your wire harness, which goes to the sheet metal on your vehicle. Take a look at the Kurt, it's a little more realistic where it has uh, extra zip ties with it, but it still has a grounding screw available. The Kurt needs to be grounded to the sheet metal as well. Now both our wire harnesses have plenty of wire built into them to run from the taillights down to your hitch. Now both our wire harnesses can be great for small trailers out there, but typically have a couple taillights in the back and maybe one or two sets of running lights on the side of a trailer. Okay, so you can probably tell by now that these wire harnesses are very similar, aside from the four pole flat cover that goes for them. So really, you can't go wrong with either one of them. Let's go ahead and switch over to our two other wire harnesses that will plug into OEM wire harness. Again, they both end up with a four pole flat and they both have built in covers. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the other inner wire harness and this is where we get into our differences. They both will plug into the OEM uh, socket that's located behind the bumper on the vehicle. Now, with this one, if you're replacing a four pole flat that's already on your vehicle, or you may have a seven pole and you don't want to use it and you want to use just a four pole wire harness, you can disconnect the old one and replace it with this. Now our next one from Takancha uh, gives us a couple more options. First off, if you have your OEM uh, seven pole connector on the back of your vehicle, it's working just fine, but you still want to add a four pole flat to it, you can disconnect the, uh, the connection back there, tee this in, so it looks like a T, plug them both back together, and you can use both of them. And finally, either one of these wire harnesses are great if you have to replace the end of your OEM wire harness in the back of your vehicle. Nice detail built into them, they both have a loom material already wrapped up on the wires. Now typically the wire harness for the OEM package is going to have a little bit higher current capacity so this could power a trailer with more than a couple of different lights in the back of a trailer. As opposed to our ones that plug in behind tail lights, which are limited to the wire harness on the vehicle. And now finish it for the best wiring options available for your GMC Acadia. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.